Hello, Inventory Managed Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Apocalypse with me, Blue Ankylo. In between episodes, I spent a little bit of time doing some mandatory equipment management, which is something that I missed between episodes because we had so many missions going all in a row. Uh, all I've really done is uh, made sure we had a spare ammo clip for every gun. Uh, we're still in production of Toxigun Type B clips. Like, part of the issue is I just... I wish I had more. Um, we we're getting a good stock, but, you know, we're using them up pretty quick right now. So the more we have, the better. I've also made sure we've got grenades and a, a reasonable supply of uh, equipment. I've also equipped the uh, Marsec uh, body armor that we picked up. Because we did buy a bit at the beginning of the week. And I just hadn't gotten around to equipping it yet. So a few new people, generally at the top of their respective bases have uh, more armor, or, well, flying armor, technically less armor. And I did get a request for a power sword from Soul Reaver, so uh, unfortunately with Apollo Turtle's demise, we've passed on the sword to Soul Reaver, who uh, had nothing to do with it, hopefully, but that was something he really wanted, so there you go. And uh, although usually I would try to match up the power sword with someone with a disruptor cannon, but we're at the point where almost everyone has a toxic gun anyway, so that's not so likely anymore. Uh, I did rename a couple people um, from my rookie supply. So we downloaded Dave Bovine 3.0. Um, Apollo Turtle's Ghost has taken the body of this one. Uh, Mr. CB is uh, inhabiting this corpse now, or <laughs> he's taken over this hybrid. And there was another one, I think. Who else got revived? Mr. C. Bovine. Maybe it was just the three. I think I also added another name in there. That's fine. Um, so yeah, all is good. We still have a few names. There's a couple more people that don't... Like, the, the four that we just recruited are, like, backups. And uh, I just assigned them to uh, train so they can start getting a few stats before they are needed. And that's pretty much everything. So we've got more UFOs to handle. And uh, I'm going in... I would say hopefully a little bit more refreshed, um, took a little break, made sure we've got the equipment set up correctly. So um, that's my plan today is to, to go at it a little bit smarter and try not to let anybody die. I have less excuses to have people die now thanks to shielding and toxic guns, but obviously the game can still be pretty difficult. So, Oh, I was buying some more uh, armor suits, that's what that little notice was there If you're in case you're wondering. And I believe both teams have enough shields now for uh, at least one shield for the whole 18. All 18 soldiers get at least one shield. Uh, we still have a rookie here, so Miss oh, Mr. CB is uh, back in action. <laughs> I think he's switched to the different squad. All right, let's get this on the road. Let's show on the road today. Oh, good, we can see aliens right away. Well, I, I definitely. Won't turn down a couple quick kills. So let's send in Mr. C. Number B. Mr. C Part B. And see how that goes. How many time units will you have if you just run over here? Oh boy, there's lots of them. Well, this will be exciting. Go for it, Mr. C B. I'll just call you Mr. C most of the time, honestly. Alright. One down. And a bunch of... Okay, we're going to let someone else pick those up. Just don't let me forget at the end of the turn. i got to pick those up. If Oh, hello, cat. Uh, if you can survive, you'll definitely be getting a promotion out of this. If you can survive. Alright, we got three kills. Only one of them had brain suckers. And we're out of time units. Okay. So, I would say that's a pretty good start. Now, we just need to make sure that we can pick those up. I'm going to use someone who's got a lot of time units, Zach Nafin. And you've got some inventory space for them. So make a run over here real fast. Now, we could also have tried to set up a shooting line to just shoot them as they hatch. I feel that's riskier than just picking them up so they don't hatch. Right? That uses some time units up, but now we're... Probably safe. I didn't even get a chance to set up everybody's AI. Okay, so. First things first. Get people in position for some cover fire. 
in case those two need it. Need some support. No smoke grenades right now. Okay, that was really helpful. Okay, waste all your time units. Alright. Hopefully we can see the door, right? Like that's that's the goal here. Don't be silly. Don't let line of sight issues totally mess you up. Now I will admit in that last episode, the, the anthropod that shot the brain sucker that managed to get Apollo Turtle, he did do a good job in the sense that he aimed it at someone, or he, he, he fired his brain sucker pod to a spot that was very difficult for us to get line of sight on because we blocked each other's line of sight. So that was a pretty good tactical choice. Um, just made me very angry that nobody took that shot anyway. Running out of ammunition was not cool. Alright, so there's almost certainly nothing over on this side of the map. We've learned that, unless we find an alien somewhat randomly. There's no entrances over here, so... We'll send this squad down at a quick speed so they can maybe help out. Yeah, they'll be ready in another turn or two. Okay. Let's roll the dice. Three kills on turn one is nice. Alright, come on, firing line. Good. That's what, I, that's what I was expecting, so uh, thank you. All's clear. Okay, let's just not mess it up with weird line of sight issues, and we should be okay. So, uh, Zach, you're totally fine. Don't worry about it. Um, I am going to switch you over to Toxagun by default, just because I'm a fan of that sort of thing. We're going to move you so you got a nice line of sight if anything opens that door. And then we're going to start giving you some support. Today we're going to get support. Let's get a supportive. And I'm putting people... <laughs> you might be thinking, Blue, what are you doing? What are you doing? Um, my thinking here is I want people that if... Just in case, because I'm not 100% sure. I don't think these things are supposed to be able to hatch in your inventory. But just in case, look at all these people nearby that could shoot it off his face. Just in case something terrible happens, right? Surely someone would get a reaction shot. Especially with, like, low time unit costs. And we'll just leave these guys on the hill for now. So I've got lots of crossfire. Now... I'm a bit concerned just from the last mission that maybe the smoke will still end up blocking all these shots. Which would kind of suck. I still don't 100% know how the, the smoke mechanic works. And that's my own fault. I haven't really done the research, but... We've got people that aren't in smoke that should get good shots. Alright, Popper. Okay, that was fine. Naz a miss. Come on, team. You can do it. You can do it. Put your back into it. Anybody that hits it, it gets a gold star. You get a blue ankylo point. Alright, good job. That was, uh... Someone with a disruptor cannon. I didn't see... One of those. I'm not too worried about spitters. Too much smoke. It's making the game lag a little bit. Alright, so somebody got that kill. It was probably... Vine that saved everybody's life. So good job, Vine. Let's try to get Popper out of the way here. No problem. Another kill for Mr. C. Just racking him up today. He's already got a hat trick, and now he's working on a. I, don't know, I need I need more letter type awards for him. All right. These guys are just gonna move down, I guess, for now. I just don't know what to do. Like, I've, I've kind of... Because I've got so many people, and I'm not sure if the smoke completely screws up our ability to take shots, I'm just gonna keep these this, this extra group out of the way a little bit. And we'll see what happens. Oops. No, no. Alright, everyone face the right direction. Don't worry about the fire. It probably won't hurt much. And in this situation, let's get rid of this uh, 
terribly annoying rock in your way. All right. Uh, it might have been worth it to spread out a little bit along here. Um, just because it gives us a little bit better range. If the door opens, we got a couple more angles. You probably want to line people up fairly closely with how the door opens. Because if you're too far over, your angle just won't work. At least that's my argument. And we're going to blow open the door probably this next turn. It's fine. We're totally fine. So that was... Had to be an anthropod or a... Or a skeletoid. Well, there's some serious combat going on one way or the other. Come on, team. Alright, we got something. That might have been a cloak skeletoid we could not really see. Brain sucker keeps moving up slowly, but steadily. Shots aren't hitting home yet, but as soon as it comes out of this opening, there should be a lot of... Did, did Greg get shot in the back by somebody? That's not supposed to happen. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. I know your reactions are kind of terrible. There we are. That was a good shot. I probably rely on Overwatch reaction fire more than I should. So who was that? KDTC. I mean, this is how you probably are best likely to improve your Overwatch shot. Your, your uh, reaction fire score. So... This helps, but uh, it's a lot of a lot of shooting. So where is Greg anyway? Was he getting shot in the back? It kept saying Greg is under fire, right? Well, yeah. I'm sorry for not remembering who Greg is. Really? Okay, well there's another way. We can go through like this. Uh, Greg, here you are. This should select you. So Greg is over here. He didn't take any damage. So I don't think it would have been friendly fire. If he was taking shots, it almost certainly was the aliens trying to shoot him. Good job, Greg, for not dying. People who don't die can get a blue ankylo point as well. I think we've actually destroyed most of the doors here. Uh, let's just wait another turn or maybe move some people a little bit closer. A little bit better angle, so maybe they'll help out a little bit more. Um, we're going to move into the UFO soon. I just, you know... You can't blame me after that last episode. I want to be a little bit careful here. If the aliens are going to come out in the open, it's easier on me. I could, probably could have thrown a stun grenade in as well. I'm kind of trying to be... A little bit more... Frugal with the... With the, um, with the stun grenades, because we don't have all that many extra. Seeing as we can't craft them or anything, basically. Alright, let's just go for a nice, accurate pistol shot. Nobody ever wastes Toxigun ammo, right? There we go, one hit. This is why our engineers are so busy. We got people like uh, Blanket here. Just blanket firing with their uh, toxic gun. Okay, that was a little bit disappointing. Now, I know toxic guns aren't the best at long range, but surely you could do better than this. There we go. Alright, another kill. Alright, is that the end? No. Seeing as I wasted like three or four people. Oh, it's an invisible one. Come on, team. Show me your amazing skills of Overwatch. A second invisible anthropod. Maybe I should have ran in. We probably would have seen them. Come on, the shields can hold a couple hits. Wow. Okay, we got one. It'll die with like two or three hits usually, right? Yeah. They go down really easily, but... Uh, we do need that accuracy. Okay. 
One down, the fires are starting to burn out. Who gets the kill? This should be very simple at this point. Alright, let's send in, in... Actually, you know what? Let's send in some of the... The psionics. The, the hybrids that don't get a lot of shots. Let's go bagel keys, because you don't you guys don't get a lot of action normally. Okay, we gotta we gotta work on that accuracy rating, right? Okay, we're looking good. Let's oh we're done. Hey, promotions! Mr. CB, you're a squaddy, and Vinyl One is a squad leader. Alright, one down, one to go. That one was nice. Not too bad. Also, one thing I want to mention before I forget, um, I was noting as I was buying stuff, we ran out of missiles for rearming people. So, uh, either buy more profit missiles or we're going to have to switch some weapons out. So, I'm going to need some money, but once, the other thing is, like, once I'm done this next mission, hopefully we'll have some money to, well, we have some equipment to sell to make some money. Alright, so we're still missing a slot for this uh, mission. We don't have the full 18, but that's okay. We do have soldiers on the way to getting geared up. Alright. Alright, so what do we got? This is one of the bigger ships with lots of baddies in it. Hopefully the entrance is at the back like I prefer. And I'm going to just do this again sort of cautiously. Probably the same way I do it most of the time. Except for when I'm kind of in a rush trying to save video length. Quickest way to get people killed is for me to try to get through an episode quicker. Works every time. It is slightly difficult though. I mean, you want to keep these uh, episodes kind of exciting and you know making progress regularly so that uh things keep happening and all that you know you know how it is right you understand and then sometimes you get stuck doing like, the same sort of mission over and over and over again so you try to cut a couple corners hey folks so i'm super super discouraged here i just lost that entire uh mission um i was recording and then Either I tapped my toggle record button or something just stopped and there's no record of that rest of the uh, the video being recorded. So I just lost it and I don't have a you know a backup save at an appropriate point for it because we're in the middle of an episode. Um, not that it was a bad mission, it was actually amazing and uh, I'm going to give you a recap but uh, I didn't want to like redo it because it was so good. And I'm just really disappointed that I didn't get to show it off on screen. Um, so, this was our squad, and this is the returning squad. Nobody died, so that's pretty good, right? Um, this is the right squad? Maybe this is the wrong squad. Pixel should be in it, one way or the other. Let me check. So this is the correct squad. So we just did the, uh, the brain, like we saw the very beginning of it on the video, but then it cut out. So I finished that mission, and I don't know why I lost the footage. Uh, this is your squad. Um, the, the highlight was Pixel. So, the aliens wouldn't leave the UFO. Unlike the previous, like, four or five UFOs, they didn't come out. Uh, we killed, like, three poppers at the entrance with a Overwatch, but other than that, nothing would come out. So we very carefully worked our way into the bottom of the UFO, um, very slowly, like, it did take a long time, and someone peeked up. I can't remember exactly who it was. I feel like it might have been Soul Reaver, actually. Went upstairs to that first sort of wide room in the brain UFOs, and there was aliens everywhere. There was cloaked skeletoids, there was another pauper, there was a whole bunch of anthropods, and I'm like, nope, we just noped right out. So then we were down in the basement, and we're like, okay, we gotta have a plan. So we grouped everybody, the whole team, right at the bottom of the elevator, and we're like, well, if the pauper comes down, we're in trouble. But we've got shields, we'll be okay. And, you know, so far so good. Nothing popped down and jumped on us. The aliens were being very defensive, so that was a good call on my part. Nobody took any hits. Okay, so then we had to move everybody up and start killing anthropods. So I moved a couple characters up. Again, I'm sorry, I don't remember exactly who you were. Um, I, I don't remember the names. There's, just, there's too much going on. Basically, everybody got a kill, though. So everyone moved up, tried to kill one or two anthropods. A lot of characters had... Um, 
uh, sorry, a lot of characters had um, a flying armor, which was very helpful to fly straight up towards one of the anthropods. It's you know that room where you, you come up the elevator and there's kind of a, a boundary on the left, a, a barricade on the left in yellow, and a barricade on the left on the right in yellow. All the anthropods were on the second or third floor on the sort of balconies around. So we'd come up the elevator, sneak out through the little yellow barricades, and then fly up straight to them. And like everybody got like one kill, except Pixel. Pixel had this group of three, and once he got close, there was another cloaked one. So surprise! So he took out four anthropods on his own, which you know, to be fair, with a with a toxic gun isn't that hard. And then we found out that they all had brain sucker launchers. And Pixel had like 10 time units left. And I'm like, well... So I tried to fly him vertically up and away. Because I'm like, well, maybe the brain suckers can't jump that high. But he didn't have enough time units and he didn't get very far. And I'm like, well, we'll deal with that later. So then I tried to do my best to find all the aliens on the map. Because if we could kill them all, then the mission ends before the brain sucker pods can activate. We did find all the aliens. Unfortunately, they were... Remember how the brain one works. If you take the elevator all the way up to the top, then you have to go out and around some pink mesh. All the last four spitters were in that very highest room, kind of like the bridge or something. And you have to go up the elevator, around the pink stuff, all the way around and down the ramp to get to the, to get to the, uh, the spitters. So that was, like, pretty much impossible. No one had enough time units to get that far. We killed a couple of them, but I just I couldn't get them all. There was no way. We even used a Devastator cannon to shoot a couple holes in the pink mesh so that maybe I could finish them off and save Pixel. It didn't work. There was like two or three spitters that we just couldn't kill. And that was it. I was pretty sure that was the only aliens on the map. So with the last, I still had like, you know, two or three uh, agents that hadn't had a turn. And they just, they only had like 50 TUs. So there was no way they were getting to the top of the map. So what I did was I took them up the elevator to that first room. And I was able to fly them up a bit. If the, a couple, I think we had two or three with flying suits left. I, it, they didn't have enough time units to get anywhere near Pixel. There was no way to pick up the Brain Sucker pods or really do anything offensively. So I just flew them up, put their Toxic Guns on aim shots, and prayed that they had a good line of sight. And I think I had three or four people. Again, I would have loved to like call, call, call you out by name because your job was to save Pixel's life. So hit end turn finally with a little bit of trepidation, worried that some of my best soldiers were going to die again. Thinking it was on camera, of course. It would have been even worse off camera. And what happened was, there was like five brain suckers that opened up. I was thinking maybe we'd get lucky and not every single one would open. Nope, they all opened. And we had a really good stretch where it was a couple shots, kill. couple shots, kill. And I was like, oh, we might do this, we might do this. And then one final brain sucker, of course, burned through everyone's time units. No one could hit it. It went to the edge, it jumped, and it landed on Pixel's face. I was hoping because he was flying over a pit that they might not be able to get him. Of course they can jump that far. I was really like, okay, you got like one or two seconds to take a couple shots. A couple last shots came through from different angles where people could finally see him. Miss and a miss and a miss. Nobody could hit it. One more little squidgel sound on the brain sucker and it fell to its death. Not a shot was fired. Pixel fought it off with his brain. He resisted the brain sucker attack while it was on his head. No time units available. Everyone missed their shot. We were completely out. And he fought it off. The first one we've ever seen fight off a brain sucker attack without dying. The first one. The first human to survive a brain sucker attack. Pixel, of course, was immediately promoted to captain. And is now our... He now deserves the title brain sucker slayer. There is no one else on the team that can has managed to pull off that feat. No one else even wants to try. But Pixel has done it. He's done the impossible. So hopefully, that gives you a bit of an idea of what happened, and again, I'm very, very sorry that I wasn't able to upload that battle, because it was amazing. But we'll have to let your imaginations fill in the blanks. And with that said, all current UFOs are cleared, and we're taking everybody home for some well-deserved R&R. And for the most part, we're going to sell some alien uh, weaponry, and try to make a little bit of money so we can not go broke, and then not lose the air game. Okay, so in fact, everyone that's on the ship, take a break. Off you go. You can head to the bar. Whatever we've got for a canteen on base, you can go. No problem. All right. And with that, the next step, selling stuff. So, just to see, have a quick visual inspection. There was a lot of brain sucker pods, a lot of devastator cannons, and some new shields. So that's all worth money. In the other base, 
pretty much the same thing, although they, they managed to salvage less shields. I think the uh, the new Serpical base, or team, just wasn't able to not let them explode. Sorry, a lot of aliens seemed to manage to pull off the grenades. So we weren't able to salvage quite as well. As well. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this will make us enough money to keep the base rolling for a little bit longer. So what we want to do is, for both bases, sell off anything that's useless. Um, alien tech that we don't need, basically. And the, we're holding on to toxic guns, don't worry about those for now. But uh, Devastator Cannons, we don't need 19 in stocks. I'll hold on to a few, uh, let's say four, but man, that's some good money there. That was great. Uh, once we can sell these as well, it'll be good. We don't need brain sucker launchers. They don't make us much money, but let's not keep them around. Uh, we're not going to be selling shields for a while, although they are worth a lot of money, but uh, we're holding on to those. And that's probably everything for this base, except for some uh, ammo for the useless weapons. All right, so that's a good start. How about new Sorpagal? Can you add some funds to the, the pool? Let's sell... The, um... Uh, just a second, sorry. Uh, let's sell the entropy pods. And... Holding on to the shields. I'll probably move a few shields from Zenobia over, actually. Because New Serpical's lagging a little bit behind in shields. Uh, but we want to get rid of these and these. And... Again, we'll hold on to just a few Devastator Cannons. I think... I'm probably bringing more to missions than I need, so uh, it's no big deal. Um, okay, so that's uh, over 100,000. Very good. And with that, we can... Well, I was thinking what we definitely need to do, no matter what, we have to restock our ammo. Uh, some of our ships, they're just, we're out of profit missiles. There's nothing left. So no matter what, we need to try to, to fix that. So what I'll do is... Um... If I can find the right... This one. Uh, if we can just buy some ammo, which is here. See what they've got, anyway. If, we, if we've run out of profit missiles, there's not much we can do. There are 40 left. That's the trouble with relying too heavily on one weapon. So I'll buy as much as we can, but we might already be at the point where we can't really re restock all of our ships. I mean, that's... We'll see how it works, but uh, that might not be enough for everybody. So we might have to switch out of uh, Profit Missiles here pretty quick. But we'll let a little bit of time go by, start repairing some stuff. So what I want to see is if we actually have enough ammo. It takes a few minutes. I'm not sure exactly how much time exactly. But eventually we'll get a message that says either rearmed or not enough ammo. And it shouldn't, it should just take, well, let's, we'll find out here, honestly. I'm not going to use super speed because I want to know how long it takes. Because, like, one of my questions is whether or not we can reload a Justice Missile Launcher mid-battle. And so far it seems like probably not. Remember, we do the battles in super slow speed. So the amount of time that's gone by on quadruple speed is already probably longer than any normal combat. Probably. I wonder... I have seen it reload, but maybe it is, like... Maybe it's in terms of like an hour or two. Like I don't, I, I, I sort of skipped it. So we went fast and just, I don't know how long it took exactly, but long enough. Um, so the good news is we bought enough missiles, I think for everything for one more map, one more matchup. No, that one doesn't have anything. So we ran out on the, one of the cars profits. So essentially, um, these are the two in uh, Zenobia. So we need 8, 16, you know, 17 or 18 more missiles. And I bet you we did, we had to use pretty much everything that went to the other base. So we can check the equipment here. Uh, they have one profit missile. So we're basically down at least two profit missile launchers. So there's nothing we can really do about that. They just don't sell us enough per week, basically, to, to run them as much as I would like. That's why we need to switch off into disruptors or some other type of weapon that's not that's not limited by the uh, the market. Uh, so what we can do at least for Zenobia, at least temporarily, and this is why I like I don't really want to buy too many more bikes or anything. Um, I'm running out of good ammo already, and I know this is just going to get worse. Um, so we can switch. I don't 
really like Justice. Like, I don't mind having a couple cars with Justice launchers, but you just get that one shot at 50 damage. That's definitely not as good as 8 shots at 26. Not even close. Even if it has great range and accuracy. 150 damage hit is not even close to 8 26s. Anyway, I, uh, we've got a couple janitor missile arrays. I'm going to probably need like one or two more. And they've got some janitor missiles ready to go. So I'm just going to... I don't want to spend too much money on this stuff. I know there's lots of janitor missiles, but these are even weaker than justice. So, or uh, profit. But we have to have our ships armed somehow. Here I, here I was going thinking we'd have a bit of time to talk. Apparently, for all the good we did, uh... We still have some missions. Okay, so we're going to have to clear out uh, an alien infestation right away. Alright, well I thought I'd have a little bit more time to play around on the uh, the map mode. I didn't... Oh, you know what? It's been a couple days. This is probably my own mistake. I've, I've let it go for like a week between when the aliens attacked and then just trying to get all those missions done because there was a lot of shot down UFOs. I forgot if I remember saying, oh Blue, don't forget I have to scan these, I have to check these these places out. And then I got all excited about Pixel's grand victory that, uh, uh, oh well, so that's sort of a mistake. We might have to do some infestation clearing for a couple episodes. I was hoping to make a little bit of progress and, you know, finish some research and stuff. That's all I ever want, is to just get my BDM Disruptor Cannons going. There's nothing for biochemistry. Not yet. Alright, well, we're gonna have to stop here then, uh, for this episode. Um, we've definitely got squads ready, so that's not the problem. Um, well, I guess what I can do is change over the Justice Launcher here quick. Or, uh, yeah, to the, uh, the Janitors. So these guys are just out of ammo, unfortunately. Oh, look, we've got a new alien tech, actually, as well. That must have been from one of the, the ships we shot down in the last batch. This is another new weapon, actually. We'll have to research that. So one of these had 7 out of 8. That's fine. And once these reload, at least everyone will have ammo. Like, I was kind of halfway thinking maybe with all of our money, I should buy um, some more... Well, I was thinking maybe some more uh, some hover bikes or something. But I don't really have, like, the weapons to load them up, right? Like, what, what would we do? I'd have to buy... I either go back to lasers, which I think are a terrible idea on the bikes. Because they get in close and then they get destroyed. I guess I could try... I've got six more Justice Missile Launchers, so I could try... This was a suggestion. I could try just a bunch of bikes with one Justice Missile Launcher. So they just pop out, shoot a Justice Missile, and then that's the end for that battle. <laughs> like, that doesn't seem very helpful, but... Even then, we're limited by how many total missiles we've got. That'll only work for, you know, a couple more waves. I'll think about it. I'm not sure yet. Um, anyway, next episode will be um, trying to clear out the alien infestation. So Sanctuary Clinic and Nutrivend. Uh, we already know for sure that the Sanctuary Clinic here is that building. So is there a Nutrivend nearby? And there's two Sanctuary Clinics, so we might want to check that other one out. Megapole, Sensovision, Technocrats. So if, what did I say? Just double check. If we need to go find another Nutrivend building that's also been infiltrated... Uh, are they one of the ones that loves me? They totally love me. I mean, it could be here, maybe? I might have to do some checking. Not like there's a lot of options close to this building. Sensovision. It's not Sensovision. It's, uh, Sanctuary Clinic. Are they happy with us? I forget. They better be happy with us trying to save their necks. Yes, they're not. They hate us. Well, they're... You know what I mean. So I would bet... If I was a guessing man, I would say this building, maybe this building, and maybe this building. But I think if they show up on the list, they have to be somewhere. So at least one Nutrivend has aliens. So anyway, we'll have to deal with that next time. I will double check that my agents are armed. And next time, we'll do a big mission here clearing out some more aliens. So thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.